Hi everyone. My name is Nusha Kim, founder and CEO at Glamorous AI. At Glamorous AI, we believe that the world is missing out on more than 80% of targets causing diseases, restricted by lack of data and access to the right technology. And we believe we found the solution. As you probably know, drug discovery is a very long and expensive process. It takes about 15 years to put one drug in the market and it costs about $2.5 billion to bring one drug to, to patients. This is one of the reasons this is the case is because we have very limited access to, to screening libraries. The screening libraries that we've designed are really a very tiny fraction of the drug-like space. Basically the potential drug candidate that could become drug. And the reason this is the case is because it's very challenging to navigate that huge chemical space and be able to tap into opportunities for drug design and optimization. But AI and machine learning can help us do exactly that. Go into uncharted areas in the chemical space, discover and design novel chemical entities, optimize their properties and bring them to patients faster, cheaper, and for those drugs to be more efficacious. But there is a limitation. A major limitation of applications of AI or, mach or machine learning to drug discovery is access to data. And when it comes to chemistry, it access to diverse chemical space. Over the decades of human history, we've designed chemical libraries to address really a tiny fraction of the drug tar of the targets, uh, therapeutic targets that, that are causing diseases. And when it comes to AI, we basically trained the best technologies and the best AI on the chemical libraries that we human have designed. What that basically meant is that these libraries of uh, this technology that we've built on AI and machine learning really inherent the the limitations of the of the libraries that human have designed and made the design that AI can come up can come up with also very much limited to the same 20% of targets that can be addressed by human. What, the, what that basically meant is that there's still a huge opportunity for innovation and that there's still 80% of targets causing diseases that we know are causing diseases that we know are integrated in, in a huge amount of um, un, unmet need they're basically still unaddressed and um, really underrepresented when it comes to human design drugs and when it comes to design of drugs uh, by AI and machine learning. So today, for instance, if you take really cutting age AI and machine learning, and if you want to apply this technology on, on drug discovery, you would need the crystal structure of the protein. You need hundreds to thousands of known binders on that specific protein. And you will need um, also large libraries of chemical activities that allow you to build accurate and powerful models through design and optimization of chemicals. Obviously, this is not sustainable because a lot of the targets, a lot of the disease areas that we know of do not really enjoy that richness of data. But what if we can make computational method methods less reliable on data? This basically would mean that then applications of AI and machine learning would increase to cover the whole 100% of the targets causing diseases. And we believe that we are, with our technology, we can do exactly that. And that hopefully will help us really change the phase of medicine discovery. So who we are? We are a UK-based startup. We have decades of experience in AI and machine learning and also years of experience translating those methods into the into the drug discovery space. Over the few past years, we've developed a unique approach that allows us really to scale machine learning to work on less and less and less data. We call our platform and our technology Rosalind. And it's now validated in wet lab with novel designs of chemical, uh, chemical series, chemical scaffolds, and optimizations of, of those chemical libraries. We have a collaborative way to work with research institutes, biotech, and pharmaceutical industry to help them accelerate drug discovery and deliver on unmet need. Our ambition is to bring drug to every target through scaling AI to work on small, noisy, and sparse data sets. With our technology, again, the platform that we call Rosalind, we don't really need as much data as, as other approaches. We only need the crystal structure of the protein and really one data point. That all that Rosalind need to see in order to start designing novel chemical libraries on a specific disease. 
this is really a paradigm shift in how we used to do AI or machine learning on drug discovery. As I mentioned, in a standard way, you would need hundreds to thousands of data points to train AI. With our approach, all you need is one data point, and this can be a fragment or a small molecule known to interact with a target of interest. And starting from there, we can start innovating novel chemical series for a specific target that we are interested in. In this specific instant, we worked on KEEP1, a very, very challenging oncology target, also indicated in, uh, in neuro neurodegeneration and inflammation. With our technology, we managed to design novel chemical entities for this target. It has a protein-protein interaction pocket, which makes it very challenging for small molecules. It has no drug in the market at the moment. It's very attractive for pharmaceutical industry and for biotech. And just in a matter of weeks, we managed to come up with novel chemical entities on this specific target, starting again from just the chemical structure of the, the, the crystal structure of the protein and one data point. The process that we usually go through is really kind of a very huge funnel. So we start from designing in silico, using AI to design novel chemical libraries that can be as large as um, billions. So we can start from designing billions of small molecule compounds. And then using the power of AI in machine learning, we can start very quickly narrow down that, that space, that huge chemical space to only the handful that could potentially work in, in the lab and in, in uh, experimental settings. And in order to do that, we use a combination of generative design of chemistry and also the predictive power of machine learning to enable us to predict chemical activities, small molecule-like drugs, uh, to filter unstable compounds, to, to predict commercial viability of those compounds and their activities, whether in cell lines and cell assays and also when tested on human. This really allows us in a matter of weeks to go from billions of chemical libraries to a handful. And we usually iterate, so we repeat this process um, two or three times to get to, to basically start to understand also from a medicinal chemistry and computational chemistry point of view, what are the parameters, what are the important factors that we need to incorporate into our processes. So this is just an example of how the process work in, in practice. So we have the crystal structure of the protein and we identify the binding area, the binding pocket where the small molecules will, will bind. And our algorithms will automatically start creating novel design ideas for how those small molecules should look like while being informed with our predictive models in terms of whether those compounds can actually make it by the end of the day to, to human. And by doing that process, we basically start filter, designing and filtering and analyzing that, that chemical space um, that we human haven't really necessarily thought of as potential uh, viable space for certain targets. So with our approach, there's a huge gains in terms of the timeline, how long it takes to, to produce those novel chemical entities in terms of the number of compounds that you need to screen in the lab and in terms of the percentage of targets that you can address using AI and machine learning. So traditional approaches and even really using the, the best in class machine learning at the moment, the percentage of targets that we can address is again, very much limited to almost actually less than 20% of the targets that we know are causing diseases. Um, traditionally, you would need to screen thousands of um, chemical libraries, thousands of compounds in chemical libraries to get to one hit compound. And you will almost that process will probably take take almost a year to kind of reach that point. With our technology, we because of uh, our ability to work with less data, we have the potential to address all the, the eight percent of targets that are currently intractable by existing uh, traditional and existing machine learning approaches. We uh, with our K one example, for instance, we tested three compounds in the lab, and one of them is actually hit compound. This is a significant reduction in the lab testing in how many compounds you need to test in the lab to get to the end point. And obviously we've done the whole process from um, getting the target, figuring out the crystal structure of the target to the point where we have identified the hit compound. That whole process took us only six weeks, which is again, a significant reduction. If you compare that to the year time that you would usually need to get to a hit compound. 
So the good news is that um, we are really kind of, our aim is really to enable any drug hunter, any expert in, uh, in computational design and in medicinal chemistry to access cutting edge technology and be able to use this technology to accelerate drug discovery. We're very passionate about what we do, what we do. We are very kind of driven to uh, provide drugs to medi provide medicines, to diseases of unmet need. Um, and our aim is really to democ democratize access to AI. So our, all of our capabilities, all of our methods that we've designed are now incorporated in our platform, Rosalind, that can be accessed through a web interface. And we're looking to integrate, to integrate more and more um, machine learning, cutting edge machine learning models within, within the interface that would allow domain experts to design novel chemical entities, prioritize the compounds, um, computationally validate their activities be before they go on into lab testing. Uh, so Rosalind is um, a cloud platform. Um, it's an end-to-end -end AI secure platform in the cloud. Um, it provides seamless integration of AI machine learning. It as, as a user, you don't really need to know anything about coding or anything really necessary about machine learning um, because all that process kind of run in, in the background. All you need to kind of do is to identify the problem that you're interested in solving, upload the data, already download some of the models that have been pre-trained and use them on um, your specific problem. It incorporates a lot of um, cutting edge technology in terms of scalability, security, um, and uh, really a high performance computing infrastructure, but also importantly, a lot of components from pre-processing of data, managing and preparing the data for machine learning and for AI best practices, and also a whole suite of machine learning models ready to be trained or pre-trained already on a specific task that can be used. So again, it's very easy to use. Um, you can simply upload your data or use of the shelf model that we've pre-trained. You can either select from a whole suite of machine learning model that we have ready to be deployed, or you can simply let Rosalind really decide for you what are the best models for your specific problem. So we train hundreds of uh, models in the background on a specific task and the Rosalind automatically select the best performing models on a specific task and basically provide that model to you to use further down the line. If you're a bit more expert in AI, you can also select um, or choose to train your own models and select the parameters for that. But we can also do hyperparameter optimization, basically selecting the best parameters and the best models um, for your need. And obviously, you can share the models with other members in, um, in your company, in your, in your organization, and you can eventually deploy those models on other tasks or on other, on other uh, programs that you have internally. Our business model is very collaborative. As I mentioned, we are, um, we are scientists we are based here in the UK. Um, we've basically come to this area because we believe that there is a huge opportunity for applications of machine learning in the drug discovery space, but also because we believe that uh, patients deserve the best uh, possible outcome and the best possible medicines and we believe we can help. So we, we have a number of ways to collaborate um, with research organizations with uh, biotech and with pharmaceutical companies. Um, and that can be either through access to our Rosalind platform as a SaaS model, a SaaS interface to integrate with your own ongoing drug discovery programs. But we also have a number of initiatives where we work with partners on more kind of innovative views of our platform, where we brainstorm novel solutions to challenging drug discovery programs or drug discovery challenges um, either around data preparation and data access um, or breaking silos in data or around building cutting edge machine learning models, um, novel technologies on a specific task that they are interested in solving. We also collaborate very closely with um, leading researchers and organizations where we provide our engine capabilities to help them accelerate their drug discovery programs. Um, and obviously we have a Kind of a very flexible financial model to how we do this and what are the return on investment that we're expecting from each um, 
of, of these venues that we that we do to really help accelerate job discovery. Rosalind is, is being used in a wide spectrum of job discovery programs, um, all the way from oncology to neurodegeneration. Um, we have another program at the moment with King's College London on glioblastoma, a really kind of very, deep, uh, very um, challenging rare disease. Um, and we have a lot of other programs also in, in rare diseases in general. And we're looking to expand our collaboration and tap into new opportunities, really showcase our technology and our ability to tap into very challenging targets with um, challenging pockets, with uh, low data, and be able to provide novel clinical entities, provide medicines, potential drug candidates for those targets. That's it from me. Thank you very much for your time. Um, and please reach out if you need more, to know more information about Rosalind, about our, um, our company, and how we can collaborate. Thank you. Mm -hmm.